This demo will show how to use HDL Verifier to export MATLAB models for use in a System Verilog universal verification methodology environment. Systems and algorithm engineers typically use MATLAB or Simulink for design and verification. Then they write a specification that will be used on the hardware side by the design and verification teams. Using this spec, the verification team then has to create and debug the verification environment, models, and tests. But a lot of this was already modeled at the behavioral level in MATLAB or Simulink. Given that verification is the highest amount of effort spent on most hardware design projects, why recreate these models when we can just reuse them? HDL Verifier uses MathWorks Mature Improving Coder technology to generate models in C and wrap them with the System Verilog Direct Programming Interface, or DPI, so that they can plug right into your UVM environment using simulators from Cadence, Mentor, and Synopsys. This means that you can now just reuse these pre-verified high-level models. And if there's a spec change, it can be updated and verified at the algorithmic level and then the model regenerator for verification. HDL Verifier generates everything needed to build the DPIC component and will also execute the make file to build the shared library. And this works for any model that the MathWorks Coder products can generate C for. So you can model most anything you need from digital to analog to any mixture of the two and it will run much faster because it's behavioral compiled C. This demo will show how all this works from MATLAB. The design under test is an FFT connected to a UVM verification environment via AXI streaming virtual interfaces. The FFT is a complex design. It's about 10,000 lines of Verilog code. And we need to generate a waveform for an input stimulus. And we need to write a checker model that takes the input stimulus, calculates the floating point FFT result, and compares the difference between that and the fixed point hardware design checking to see that the difference is within our tolerance. So to write these from scratch in System Verilog would take many weeks of manual effort. Let's see what it takes in MATLAB. Here's the checker function of MATLAB. It's basically five lines of MATLAB code to generate the floating point FFT results and compare them versus the output of our 10,000 lines of fixed point Verilog. And here's the code to generate our stimulus waveform for the one test we'll run in this demo. The code is very high level, so it would be easy to make changes or generate a variety of stimulus to our design. And finally, here's a script that calls the commands to build our DPI functions. The build command for the checker specifies the input types. So we have four inputs. They're all 64 element arrays of int 16s. And we'll launch a report just for building this component. And here's the report from building the checker component, the FFT underscore checker dot C. It generated the source code for the checker, and we can browse to see our FFT reference model, which takes a lot more lines of C than MATLAB. And it generated the DPI function declarations. And if we look at the build log, here it shows that it generated a make file and ran it and built our shared library. So now we're ready to simulate, and we will move on to Mentor Questasim for that. This is our System Verilog UVM package, and here's where we are using the import statements to introduce the checker to the System Verilog world. Scrolling down a bit, this is in the scoreboard, we pop out a transaction off the queue, and this goes into the DUT and also to the checker function along with the DUT's output. It returns the fix versus float error, then checks to see if it's within our defined threshold. And this is the run script. You can see where it specifies to load the shared libraries for the checker and wave generator. We're going to run this now. So you can see our input stimulus up here, sending in the waveform. And then after a certain amount of latency, you can see the FFT's output. And down here is our UVM messaging. You can see the normalized RMS value of fixed point FFT as we defined in there, and it is within our threshold, so the test passed, and we get a nice summary of the UVM results at the bottom here. So just to recap, we reused the algorithmic floating point FFT model, which is a couple lines of MATLAB code, added in a couple more lines to check the output, and we generated the DPSC component. Then we reused one of the system level stimulus waveforms. And so you can see how easy it would be to update these if we needed to make a change too. So this will save weeks or even months of manual effort. So by reusing your system level algorithm models, you can get your verification environment and tests up and running weeks sooner. And knowing your, your models behave the same way as the system algorithm team intended without having to interpret a paper spec. 
and if the spec changes it's easy to update and verify the system algorithm model and just regenerate the verification model. And finally this works for a much wider variety of models than you could create with System Verilog. So if you would like to find out how you can save weeks of manual work by using HDL Verifier's DPIC model generation, contact your sales rep or use one of the contact sales forms on the MathWorks site.